Peter, there were positives to take from the last couple of games, but what a difference it makes purely getting a win. That's why we're here. We're here to win first and foremost. Um, this section's been difficult to start, but I think um, the boys have showed up really well. There's been a lot of positives to take from it, so to turn that now into a win, um, and I thought, other than 10 minutes after the, the restart, I thought, I thought we controlled the game. I thought there was chances to go two or three ahead, especially in the first half. Chance with Tam at the back stick. Uh, Robbo's one at the other side. Um, but overall, I'm delighted. The gaffer's in there praising the guys. They deserve credit. You know, we're, we're down to the bare bones. Uh, we're injuries. We've been so unlucky. Um, but to put on a performance like that um, just shows you what guys we've got. Well, let's not forget it's against a League One team. We're yeah, still, yeah. still in the League above us. I, I think that's the thing to take on. You know, we're, we're playing against Ross County, Morton, Edinburgh, Kelty. They're all in leagues above us. And that's that's where ultimately we want to be as a group. We have to be ambitious together, but after today, uh, I think the boys will now realise they're capable of playing at that level. Um, and we now build that foundation to now kick on from that. Good to also see your, your, your two new strikers hitting the ground running. Yeah. Uh, tough games against teams from much higher yeah. levels, but they're, they're both now on the, the score sheet. Listen, they're going to cause team, teams problems in our league. There's absolutely no doubt. They're proven goal scorers where they've been. Um, and you can see by the work rate, we get them working together. Um, we've not had much time on a training pitch, to be perfectly honest with the game. Saturday, Tuesday, we're only getting recovery sessions maybe on the Thursday. So there's plenty of time for them, um, but delighted for them to get on that score sheet. It'll give them that little boost of confidence and kick them on for a big campaign. And it was nice to see Tam tucking the penalty away, but the, the, the first goal, James Dolan's involvement in that. We managed to see the replay a couple of times, and that was lovely the way he set yeah, that up for Ben Armour. Absolutely. James does is tireless up and down that left-hand side, but what he gives you, he gives you real danger in their half. When we get the ball, he can twist, he can turn it. It must be a nightmare to defend against, to be perfectly honest. And strikers have to be ready. I said that to them before the game. I spoke to the both of them. Um, and it's not just one run, it needs to be two and three because when you've got James Dolan twisting out on the outside, it might not come in the first time. It might be the second or third time when he chops back left or right when you get on the end of one. But um, overall, I mean, we couldn't single anybody out, let's be honest. I thought we worked tirelessly as a unit. Um, and it's great to see with so many injuries that we've, we've come through a tough match um, with some real quality as well. And you mentioned yourself there, um, injuries again, Matty Grant out today, Dean Hawkshaw came off, so yeah. where are we in terms of... of we're injuries? in a difficult position to be honest, um, this is, Matty's took a bad one to training the other night, um, we'll, we'll assess that and see how he is moving forward. Um, yeah. We've now got a game Tuesday and then we've got a wee reprieve before Elgin, so we're hopefully going to be getting players back, filtering back in, we've got Cammy who's very close. Um, Josh Walker will probably be after that and then we'll, we'll assess Dean Hawkshaw as well after today so um, they will start filtering back but again they're going to have to work hard um, make sure it's the right time to come back um, and yeah they can kick on from there. I'm guessing given that position you're probably quite happy to leave next Saturday as a blank day in terms of fixtures. Well, well yeah I believe that's what we're going to do we're going to train we're going to do some uh, fitness testing as we've done we'll retest the guys next week um, and then we'll, we'll Go again for the Elgin game, we'll hopefully see what squad we've got, hopefully as I say these injured guys can start filtering back in um, and yeah we can move together as a squad. In terms of the game when it is 2-1 like that and obviously it's a, a cup tie, you could hear both yourself and Scott shouting to, to see it out, it must be pleasing when the, the defence does hold firm and, and to be fair they didn't really create anything later on. I think over the piece, over the, the whole campaign we've played so far, I don't think teams have really caught us open. To be perfectly honest, it is probably against us to be conceding eight goals in the past two games. So um, we're not going to be a team that sets in, that's for sure. Um, so it's not specifically about them holding on. I thought they kicked on again towards the end of the match as well, playing in their half, um, shifty up and down that right side and the strikers causing problems. Probably could have had a second penalty, to be perfectly honest. Um, but yeah, we just need to keep on them and keep progressing and, and, and delighted with the, obviously the three points today. You say about the injuries and stuff, obviously the, the gaffer was on the bench. See, you've got trainers on, you're going to <laughs> <laughs> He's not taking the head. He's not taking the head. No, listen, we'll do what we can. Um, as far as me and him playing, we don't ever want to be spending a minute on the pitch. The guys we've got there are, are more than capable of doing um, a good enough job, as they've shown today, down to the bare bones. They've dug deep. Um, guys coming on the pitch, you know, Ben Hughes coming on the pitch, doing really well as well. So, 
no, listen, the squad's strong enough. It was nice to see. I just said to him in the office there with the, uh, with the shorts and stuff on, he should have took a picture of that because I'm not sure that'll happen again. <laughs> um, so, yeah, no, listen, we'll, we'll do our job from the side and we'll keep on the guys and we'll, I'm sure it'll be successful. I know neither of them came on as well, but the two boys from the South team that just having that option, if somebody else had gone down injured, we're, we're joking about Scott Agnew, but yeah. beside him, you'd be playing George O'Connor outfield without him. Oh, listen, I know that we've got the two young boys coming in as well. I think they need to treat this as a learning curve for their development also, um, and soak it all up. <laughs> we are getting to touch and go whether they were going to have to go onto the pitch, so um, they were there, they were ready, um, and they were, they were part of us today. Um, I hope they've learned a lot from the, the time from Tuesday night and tonight and potentially Tuesday coming um, and as I say that can help them in their development.